everyone in this quick video I wanted to go over choosing a domain name and what makes a good domain name and what doesn't and I also wanted to talk about brandable domain names versus more keyword rich type domain names so just to get started here I'm going to go to godaddy.com and that's the website that I generally use to look up domain names and let's just say I wanted to look up the benefits of fruit and I'll just type it in and there it is the benefits of fruit.com shows up by default as you can see it says your domain name is available you can add to the cart and go on with the purchase it also says if you buy more than one you can get a discounted rate so it'll be eighteen dollars more if you get all three of them I really wouldn't recommend doing that if you're really concerned about like blocking somebody and from getting that domain name maybe you can do that but I really wouldn't worry about it too much if you scroll down here you can see there's different extension options you can choose from what is .com, .org, .net. Over here it says .io, .xyz, .org, and it will give you lots of different variations. So if you wanted to do that, you could actually go here, and I would first start by going over here to um, Google and putting in the benefits of fruit to see what comes up. You want to see if there's other competition that's already coming up for this phrase, especially if you're going to be using a brandable domain name, which isn't something that's just going to be words like this. It might be a made-up word like like this like fruity or something like that and you'll see what comes up as competition so if you wanted to you can go back here and look at fruity spelled like that and see if the domain names available but there is some drawbacks and it's actually taken so that shows you right there that somebody thought that was a good brandable domain name despite the spelling because there's a lot less competition here that they're up against within Google and other search engines so if you wanted to, another thing you can do before ending up purchasing a domain name is you can go here on name check and name check is also spelled differently than it would normally be and check here if it's available. So if you wanted to, you can type that in and it's going to show you the domains that are available with this extension and it's also going to show you the usernames for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Blogger, Google+, everything there is here. So you can see right there that these ones are already taken by whoever probably owns this .com domain name. So it's a good thing to look at before you just start making a website or getting domain names is to see if the social media accounts that would correspond with them are actually available to sign up for as well. It's very important for brandability these days to have the correct social media accounts to go with them. Now another thing you can look into is brandable domain names. A website here that you can reference is called Brand Bucket, and at brandbucket.com you can, I'll just scroll down and show you, there's all different types of made up domain names here that are available for purchase. Now these are very expensive because of how unique they are. Now something that I actually don't like about brandable domain names is that you're going to have to basically spend money or spend time educating your customers or viewers or whoever it may be about what your actual website is about now fruity might give it away a little bit because it has this fruit in the domain name name it has fruit as a base word but if you had this vista here let's say or this get genigo you're going to have to take time and probably spend money to educate your customers or viewers on what the actual domain name is about so it's something you really need to take into account if you're going to end up purchasing a brandable domain name, especially if you're going to spend this kind of money in the process to buy something like that that you really like, some catchy name. So on here you can actually sort by invented or keyword first, or you can actually go up here and type in a keyword as well. So let's say you wanted to do something like Bitcoin. I'll just do an example because it's very popular now. I saw a lot of them on here the other day. So here's all these different Bitcoin related keywords for domain names that you can actually purchase. Now, something I would also say, another website here is called expireddomains.net and you can look up all different types of domain names. You can search by keywords again up here. You can set different filters to um, display only .coms, ones with a certain length, certain uh, backlinks available on the profile. These are ones that are expiring. You can choose no characters, no numbers, no hyphens. You can also do that within the search here in GoDaddy, but these ones are expired ones that may have had age to the account. They may have 
higher ratings with page authority, domain authority, backlinks, all kinds of things like that that can actually help the website rank quicker since it's expired and already has those backlinks. But that could probably be a whole other video. And this one I just wanted to talk about basically these brandable domain names compared to the more keyword friendly ones. And I personally would probably invest in something that's more key keyword friendly like best benefits of fruit or the benefits of fruit or benefits of fruit.com something like that instead of something like this fruity that's going to be a little harder for the customer to remember how to spell and that you might have to educate them on what your brand is actually going after so i would recommend personally going with something that's more keyword rich but if you do want something more brandable i would actually probably try to search on your own first see what you can find and then maybe look at something like brandbucket.com for examples of what might be a catchy one that you could maybe find for a lower price on somewhere like GoDaddy or any other registrar for that matter. And another website that might be helpful for you to get ideas is called namemesh.com. And on namemesh.com, you can basically type in something like a keyword phrase, and then it will start to generate names that could be used for different domain names. So if I put in WordPress, you can see there's wordpress.site, wordpress.online I wouldn't recommend actually using something like WordPress because it probably is trademarked and you could get yourself into a legal situation so you want to use more generic keywords or something like I do with like WP but then it would be hard to search because WP will bring up a lot of different results now speaking of WP with my website wpwithtom.com I actually think I did something incorrect with this. I think I shouldn't have put Tom in the domain name because then if you go to sell the website or if I try to sell my website WPWithTom.com, I built the brand around me, myself, and I wouldn't be able to continue on that brand, brand unless I happen to sell to some guy named Tom maybe. So it's very hard to sell a website with the domain name that is linked to you specifically. So if you had Michelle's fashion blog or something like that. It might be very hard to sell it. It would be better off to have something like fashion blog about something, just for an example. So I just wanted to keep that in mind and I hope this was helpful in helping you find a good domain name and how to choose a domain name that could be valuable for you and your business going forward. Thanks for watching everyone.